Scroggins was able to convert on third and long. What are you doing? What are you looking to do to try and slow him down with, with his legs in those situations? Well, he's a good athlete. we got to make sure we have some Welcome back to the Sheet Stadium, and we are about to start the second quarter. All right, Taryn, thank you very much. See with that. And the defense is back out, but to start the second quarter, Charlotte Knights facing a fourth and one. Xavier Rubio, the senior safety, dragged Manungai, and at first glance, that's a fourth down stop. It's a nice job by that defense. They anticipated it. So what you do is you bring numbers, right? If you're going to get beat off the ball at the line of scrimmage, you got to bring extra guys, and they did just that, brought him off the edge. And this is exactly what he does. Safety comes clean, gets a hit on Manungai. Nice job, good defense. Yeah, that's just that's that's just good execution. But it's exactly what Bricciano was just talking about. To tear it down on the field, right? Missed opportunities. We talked about the drop pass by Ian Strong. It was the opening drive, a wide open play down the middle. Would have kept the drive going. Right? Failed to get some points here, so the offense to this point not able to score here in this ballgame. Third drive for Howard, it's back to the ground, and there are in the backfield. Right off the snap, and a two-yard loss. Nice job getting up the field. Good job turning it back inside. Yeah, that's, you know, that's the safety came down as well. That's, that's just a really good job. Moses Walker there, number two. That's a good, good read by him. He's going to play a totally different role than what he thought maybe three weeks ago. Yeah. He tore the ACL to Mohamed Toure. I already found him back at some point, but not yet. Scroggins wasn't sure where to go, and he had the open space. And he picks up 16 yards on the ground. So he has done in the offense with his legs. He's up to 42 yards rushing here in the opening half. That's what, what Shiano said. You know, you got to get somebody on him. That's exactly what we talked about before. The running quarterback really... Most of the time is unaccounted for. You're going to have to account for him. And they had a quarterback battle the entire camp. Scroggins with the grad transfer from North Carolina A&T, Zach Yeager. They did not announce their starting quarterback until game day. Scroggins won the battle, and he is moved the offense tonight. Solid tackle in the backfield. DJ Jabome. We're going to hear his name a ton this season, and that's already his fourth tackle. Jabomi, Jabomi has good eyes, and he believes his eyes. Some linebackers don't believe their eyes. They see things that are in, that are going on, and they don't quite trust him. Jabomi does a nice job of trusting his eyes. Round Isaiah Williams, another open field tackle. It's short of the 40. Jack Loyal out of coverage. You pick up four yards. Nice job by Shaq Loyal, right on top of him, right where he had to be. Also, a nice ball. Put ball all around here. Sets up this nice third down. See if we can get a pass rush out here from Rutgers and see if we can get a big play from the offense. Uh, yeah, that's such a big part here for Scarlet Knights, too. The experience of the secondary guy, Walker, Nelson, Loyal, Rodgers. Look, takes it not quite tonight, but when he comes back, those are all returning starters. That's a strength for them. timeout taken by the Scarlet Knights defense. I saw Joe Har Haramisiak on the sideline jumping up and down like, like his hair was on fire, so I'm sure he saw something that nobody else saw. We'll be right back.